myself a J and count my figure shit. It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. If I catch you, but I'm really just trying to be my best self, no matter what that looks like. good morning guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl mahogany you already know what to do make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time i drop another video also make sure you follow me on instagram i'm on tiktok i'm pretty much on all social media platforms twitter facebook all of that so make sure you connect with me everywhere okay because we can't be friends like how we really locked in like we like y'all say we are if you ain't connected to me on all social media platforms so guys uh, it's another beautiful morning. Uh, the morning has started off amazing. It's been nothing but vibes. I mean, your girl's in the mood. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energized. I've had my coffee, got my workstation set up. I've already typed and sent a few emails. Like, I'm on a roll, okay? I'm on a roll this morning. I'm feeling good. Um, and I have so much to do today, but I can't wait to take you guys with me. It's going to be a really, really fun day. Welcome back to another weekly vlog on Mahogany's World. Y'all already know how we do. Like, we have a good time. We encourage each other. We do like soft life vibes because that's what we live in over here. That's real life. So we are like about to get into it. I'm so excited, y'all. This is our Christmas tree. We have a 12 foot Christmas tree this year and it is absolutely beautiful. I'll definitely have to give you guys a tour um, of the house for the holiday season. Also, your girl's glam room is complete. Y'all saw a little bit of that this morning, but I'm gonna have to give you a tour of that. It's been like, everything has been going so well. Um, I'm just so grateful for just everything in my life right now. So y'all, without further ado, let's go on and get into this video. I gotta get myself together, gotta get dressed, I gotta head out the house. It's so much on the agenda, but we're gonna have a good day. So let's go on and get into it. All right, y'all, so I'm out and about. First stop first is the nail salon because your girl need her nails done. Look at these, I should be shamed. Ooh wee, they was cute though, but I need my nails done. All right, y'all, so I'm currently getting my nails and my feet done. Um, I was gonna get a fill in, but I decided to get a full set. Um, these holiday nails are gonna be so freaking cute. Comment down below what you guys think I should get. Um, they're gonna be so, so cute. Like, I love holiday nails, y'all. They are just like everything, because you get to just add so much like Christmas theme stuff to them. So, holiday nails are definitely one of my favorites. Comment down below if y'all get holiday nails or do you keep it like simple? Or when it comes to your holiday nails, if you do get them, do you just do like the colors or do you go all out at like the Grinch and snowflakes? Like, let me know. All right, y'all. So the holiday nails are coming together. So nice. I'm so excited. Can't wait for you guys to see them. Um, my feet are just about done. I'm putting my, I'm pretty much like getting the gel polish part done. Um, where they putting it like my feet under the light and everything. And so everything's going so well, so relaxing and so very well needed. Okay. All right, babe. So I got my nails done and they are, ooh, so cute. I'm going to have to turn the camera around and show you guys, but what had, have even been a Christmas 
or a holiday season if mahogany didn't get her nails done in the theme like y'all know i love the holidays so these definitely did it for me gonna turn around and show you Ooh, we get into the holiday nails y'all we got the ho 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 with snowflakes and a bit of snow we have the um french but it's dusted in powder and it has like a little design of course we have the grinch and y'all the designs are absolutely so cute <laughs> and then the background like the um ground right now is definitely doing what it needs to do for the background even though it's holiday season so i mean it's very much even fall but it's definitely still an aesthetic oh so cute y'all All right, y'all, so um, I made a quick little stop to my Airbnb property. I wanted to show you guys, um, I don't know if you've seen it before, but I did do um, a video on my channel by my husband surprising me with it, but I wanted to come check things out. I don't come up here often. It's like actually very rare that I come up here, guys. Super, super rare that I come up here, but um, it's looking good. It always stays booked up which mama likes that but yeah looks good looks good i really love this property can't wait to acquire some more all right y'all so i have made it home i changed real quick y'all my hair is looking a mess but i have a hair appointment tomorrow mm. we actually have a holiday shoot um tomorrow and friday so thursday and friday today is wednesday um and so i'm really really excited about that oh it's gonna be so so cute i have like a singles couples and family photo shoot and it's gonna be divided in between thursday and friday but guys i went to at home and got a whole bunch of decor and stuff and so i am really excited to just put that stuff up so i'm gonna show you guys that we're gonna do like a decorate with me this evening i think that's gonna be fun and then you guys can take a look at some of the stuff that i got um to just really ooh, look at my lace y'all y'all know i got appointments tomorrow so it is what it is like but um we can do like a little decorate with me so let's get into it morning guys um i am literally just getting out of the shower i have my photo shoot today so with that being said i am getting ready to do my why do i feel like y'all it's like four something in the morning y'all know i'm the queen of early call times like it wouldn't be me if it wasn't an early call time but i and I'm about to make my coffee and go ahead and get everything ready so that I can go in and start my appointment. My makeup artist should be pulling up here shortly. That appointment starts at five. So I'm getting ready to put my robe on now, head to the coffee station and um, make me some coffee and do, 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 do coffee and probably see if I can find me some kind of breakfast snack or something like that. So getting ready to do that now. Actually, y'all scratch this. That's the wrong road. All 
right y'all so makeup and hair is done Ooh, look at your girl looking so cute yes my heart in this world listen y'all just living in it okay but i love this look turned out so pretty so guys the shoot turned out really really good as y'all saw i really enjoyed myself can't wait for the holiday pictures to drop make sure you guys are following me on instagram that way you can see them when they drop and all of that so it was really really nice i'm excited for the holiday season like i'm super excited just for just all the holiday festivities, I'm really like a holidays type of person, especially this time of the year. So I really love Christmas and Thanksgiving, like those two, those like winter month holidays. Those are my favorite. Comment down below what you guys' favorite holidays are. But the shoot is done. It was really, really nice. Um, I'm starving. I have not had like a meal all day, y'all. Like I changed into this outfit so that I can do a few things around the house and get out of like the lingerie outfit. But I had a lot of fun. It was cute. It was giving. Comment down below what you thought about the photos and just everything. But I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do tonight. Probably going to relax a bit and prepare for tomorrow. I need to give me some food. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm really like trying to do like a whole healthy type journey, y'all. Let me go over here um, and sit down because it sounds like I'm going to be a minute. But I'm trying to do like a whole like healthy journey type thing um not necessarily to lose weight but i'm really just trying to be my best self no matter what that looks like whether that's booking spas weekly or going to therapy or eating healthy like i'm really working on holistically being the best version of myself and so one area that i wanted to improve is just eating healthier and so it really has made me stop and think when it comes to my food choices because it's so easy for me to just be like let me get my normal but since I want to eat healthier and be healthier, like I have to look at the menu and see like, okay, what's the best option? And so I will say this has taught me discipline, which is so important. You need discipline in every arena, business, life, family, marriage, relationships. Discipline is essential. Um, and of course, like I wouldn't say I've mastered discipline in the area of business, but I'm really good at being disciplined about my work and just getting to my grind. But I want to make sure that I'm disciplined in all areas. So I'm working right now, y'all, to um, just be disciplined in my diet and in my food. So comment down below if you guys have any tips. I'm not trying to go vegan or none, even though a lot of people said I should. But I'm trying to just figure out like the best way to do things because I don't want to switch and say, oh, I'm going to be done eating, eat yada, yada, yada. I don't want to just, you know, go cold turkey on stuff. I want it to be like gradually because I feel like when you make gradual changes, and work towards your goals like that instead of trying to do like a cold turkey situation you're more successful at it so i'm not trying to do like a temporary change i really want to do long-term better health change so um comment down below any of you guys still but i do need to find something to eat so hopefully i can find something i might make something that's in the kitchen i don't know we shall see comment down below what y'all eat all right y'all um whoo today has definitely been a day i ended up eating um, a pita pocket sandwich. It was so good, y'all. It was crazy good. I loved it. It was delicious. But right now, I am getting ready to take off my makeup. I took that little swoop down, and this is what it's looking like right now. And she had it like pretty much going like that or some. I also have the pictures in case you girl want to do it tomorrow. But I got it. I'll probably just end up straightening this or i want to keep the ends curl i don't know come down up y'all think what i what y'all think i should do but i love um how black it is i don't nothing like a black wig what y'all think even if it's cute like it's not swoop but it just come across your face that's so cute y'all comment down below how y'all I'm feeling about um, my new weekly vlogs. Y'all know I was dropping a lot of daily vlogs. And I was like, I'm going to start giving y'all longer content, longer vlogs, where you can spend more time with me, see what I be up to even the more. Y'all have been asking for that. So I said, let me, let me go and do it. Let me go and do it. So comment below if y'all been enjoying these longer 
videos, these weekly vlogs. Taking you with me this week. All right, y'all, but anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you what I'm going to be using tonight. I look like I'm tired, and I am. <laughs> but I'm going to be using um, my Drunk Elephant. This is the Night Serum. Um, I love their sample. This is what you call a sample, but it's still like, what I do is I get like a bunch of the, um, it comes in like a yellow mini thing and it allows you to kind of sample like their latest additions. And so I went and got this one and it actually came with some new stuff in it. These new products that I never have even used before because I really have been using Tula here for like the last maybe five months I've been using Tula. But I said, I wanted to go back to Drunk Elephant, especially since my skin is changing since giving birth it's like not the same and when i wasn't pregnant i was using drunk elephant so since my skin has different needs now i was like okay let me go back to drunk elephant and when i went back i got their little sample kit i think it's like still it's a they call it a sample but it's still probably 52 dollars but you get a good amount of all of their products like for daytime and nighttime and even though this looks small y'all this can last you like a month and a half because it don't take that much same with this this stuff lasts you or like a month and a half for real. So it's definitely worth it, for sure. You get like a month and a half worth of products for like $52 and you get like, what? Five or six products? I think it's the best thing ever, for real, for real. I love that they offer that. All right, y'all, so after I do, ooh, skin is glowing, very much glowing. After I go in with those products, I go ahead and do my lip mask. I love this, you put it on at night and you put it in the morning. Keep them lips soft, okay? And put it on. Of course, it has like a little brush you can use, but with these chomper nails I got, I just got on use the use the nails on my finger. Does not know what I got going on? But perfect for the winter months too. So you can wear it out the house, you know, like a little glossy gloss. But I put it on at night, and then sometimes in the morning if I'm not going anywhere and like it really hydrates your lips, put that moisture that it was missing right back in them lips. So when you put on your lip gloss, your lipstick, your matte um, lipsticks and stuff, you don't have that dry look. Like it's super, super smooth, so I really like that. But y'all, that's been the night routine. Good morning, guys. So, um, it's a good morning. Your girl is up and dressed, feeling good. I haven't quite did much to my hair this morning, but just unwrapped it. And so, I am going to, you know, actually do something to it a little bit later today. But I am up, I'm dressed, I'm smelling good, looking good. I got on um, some leather pants with just a graphic tee. I like this little look, I think it's cute. But what I have to do today, I just need my coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my creamer as well as my sugar. I like to go ahead and get Bae's cup out because I know he's gonna be making his coffee here soon. So I just go ahead and place it on there for him with his um, coffee thing right here. But I'm using the Maxwell um, breakfast blend. I love that, so, so good. So, I always start my mornings off with coffee. If you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that. But it's another day. I'm so excited for today. So much to accomplish today. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling red. Uh, this is my first weekly vlog, y'all. So I've been trying to take you guys with me throughout the week as much as possible. It's only going to get better from here, though, honestly. So I ain't tripping. I am definitely here for the weekly vlogs for you guys. 
because I get it, I get it. You want to see more of like what I do every single day, opposed to just the, you know, vlogs that I've been doing. So I'm here, I'm doing it. I'm showing up for you guys. Mm. I was just casually talking to y'all. I ended up doing one extra scoop of sugar. I did not mean to do that. I did not like that much sugar in my coffee, but look at me, just a talking and pouring. My coffee is super sweet this morning and super light. Not intentionally. I have my Not The Girl Used To Be cup. I cannot wait to roll out that line for you guys. My first drop is coming up soon. And I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. Got me some water because mm, coffee in the morning is essential, but always got to follow that back up with some water afterwards. Going ahead and start getting my water going for the day is essential. I need a new water bottle. The water bottle that I had, I had it when I was pregnant. And so it was definitely like a pregnancy water bottle, keeping up with how many weeks you are, how much water you need while you're pregnant and stuff. And so I need a water bottle for just like me, my everyday. So hopefully I can find one on Amazon. We shall see. Amazon has everything, so I don't see why I won't find one on there. But we shall see we shall see i'll keep you in the loop on that so i'm headed to my office i'm going to start off with you know just of course getting my office set up right i'm going to listen to something motivational while i go ahead and do like a um brain dump because i have so much on my mind in the mornings i need to literally get that stuff off my mind and i want to do that while i'm listening to something motivational to keep me um inspired after that i'm going to pray and then my team should be coming on into the house so me and justin will meet i think we have a virtual meeting this morning with our assistant kathy and Got a few things going on this morning. I got a few things going on. Um, so we just gonna get into it. If I sit here and list it all, I'm gonna be like, mm, I'd rather just take you guys with me through it all. So first things first, let's head to the office and go ahead and just get into our morning, our morning vibes, okay? Y'all probably like, why do you got it so dark? But I ain't gonna lie, in the mornings, I do not like it to be super, super bright because I am still just getting up. And I still feel like I'm up without it being so, so bright. I don't like, I don't know what it is, but I don't really like turning, making this room super bright until about 9 a.m. because I'm still in a this soft morning vibe, if that makes sense. Like I'm up. But I want to keep the room down. So while I do my brain down, while I pray, and while I do everything that I need to do this morning, I want to start incorporating reading. It's a journey, though, so I'm not gonna overwhelm myself because I have a lot um, already a part of my morning routine. But I like to just keep the room dim. So what I'll do is I'll play something motivational on computer, and I go ahead and do my brain my brain dump. On my iPad, I have, um, I use the Good Notes app. And within the Good Notes app, I, you know, journal a bit and different things like that. I have like different notebooks on my iPad. So it's like I can journal. I have a notebook for journaling. I have a notebook for like writing down my tasks. It all just flows. So the one I'm, the notebook I'm in right now is pretty much my brain dump. Everything I need to get done business wise. And then like any new ideas I have, I like to go ahead and get those out. And then I like to go ahead and just listen to my motivational stuff. And then I like to go ahead and pray over everything that I have planned for today. And go like that. I like doing it. And I'm still here outside, front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. Look, don't invite me over here to throw another pretty party. Looking back, it's hard to tell you where I started. I don't know who loved me, but I know that it ain't everybody. I can never love a... So 
So guys, this is my first meeting of the day, virtual meeting. All right, guys, so meeting one went really, really well. Um, Justin was supposed to join me on this meeting, y'all, but um, he got preoccupied with some other things that he has to take care of. Um, I will say one thing about um, our YouTube side of business. Like, we, it's a huge thing that we do. Like, a lot of people don't know what all goes into YouTube. A lot of people think, like, oh, it's just recording videos, but it's so much more to YouTube. And so, like, um, I was just on a call with our YouTube manager. He actually works for YouTube. Um, and they just give tips and suggestions and everything. And just, you know, ways to help grow your channel be better. It's a feature that really, I guess, rolls out once you reach a certain number of subscribers. I feel like they should have it for, for smaller channels because those people really be needing help too. But um, it's like one of those things, like, one. I think once we hit, I can't remember how many subscribers, it was like a feature that we were able to get. Um, which has been really helpful and great to like have a connection with someone at YouTube. That was the first meeting of the day, guys. Um, I feel like I was in the middle of telling y'all some. Oh, what I was saying though, Justin was supposed to be on this call, but he um, had some other business to take care of. But when it comes to like YouTube, that's both of our businesses, but we do have businesses outside of each other. Like my brand, I'm not the girl I used to be. That's my business. And then, you know, he does different things. And so, um, I'm excited to also take you guys along my journey of just like entrepreneurship even the more. So comment down below what you want to know. A lot of people ask like what I do for a living. Um, I have different businesses um, like Airbnb. I do YouTube. I'm an influencer. So and somebody was asking like what is influencing or like like I just watch your videos. How are you influencing me? Okay. So YouTube. So when people watch your videos, of course you make money from that pretty much like a tv show streams just like music when you stream people's music they make money from that youtube is the same way you know you record videos people watch them and you can make money from that now it's not what people think as far as like um and i'm just being transparent with y'all it's not what people think like oh you get a thousand views that's a lot of money no um it doesn't equate like that you actually have to work really hard and post different kind of videos, certain links and different things like that. But I'm not gonna get into that on this call. I mean, on this, um, in this video. But so I work with brands um, and different things like that. I make money, and when I work with brands, basically I might work with Walmart, brands that I love, Target. Y'all know I stay at Target. So I might work with Target and basically to promote um, like a campaign they might have going on, like holiday, um, like maybe, maybe they're trying to tell people, Hey, it's the holidays. Come shop with us over other, you know, stores. So they'll pay an influencer like me to, um, promote their, their latest campaign and basically say, Hey, shop with Target. So I'll get paid to do that. And what's great about that is that I love the brands that I work with. Like I already love them. Like I already love Target. So it aligns with my brand. I don't promote brands that I don't love, you know? So take for instance, Aquafina. I use Aquafina. I drink their water. So if Aquafina comes to me and say, hey, we want you to promote our water. Yeah, that's in align with me because I already use their um, water. So that's what I do as far as an influencer. I remember, I think it was Tyler Perry. He was like, you need at least five or six streams of uh, revenue streams to become a millionaire. And I know that to be true simply because um, I'm not a millionaire yet, but I have friends that are millionaires and you definitely need multiple streams. Um, and so I say that to say, I do different things that I love because you can't just live off one thing. You can, but if you have certain goals, you need more than one pot because if something happened with, say YouTube goes down tomorrow, you gotta have, you know, another stream, say Airbnb goes down. Say, I don't know, just like anything can go down. Anything can shut down. Say Instagram shuts down. You know, as an influencer, you need another platform. You need, you know, you just need to make sure you have multiple streams. Like say you work a nine to five and you have a business on the side or whatever the case may be like, what if your job fires you? 
you always need to have other streams that you can tap into. And I know that's not always realistic. I remember when I used to work a nine to five, like, shoot, you be at that job all day. You barely have time to have another stream. But it's so important that you look into something that you can have and do on the side, whether it's something you're making, whether it's something you're selling, you know, whether it's something you love doing, getting on, get, making a YouTube channel. Um, a lot of people think like, you can't work a nine to five and be an entrepreneur. Yes, you can. You can do both. So say you work a nine to five. I know a lot of doctors, nurses, lawyers, they work a nine to five and they have a YouTube channel and they're an influencer and they sell shoes and they sell Crocs. So like, don't feel like your job has you so locked in. Don't you dare go work for somebody else from nine to five or whatever your hours. And then you don't do something, invest in yourself as well, if that makes sense, by doing some kind of other it don't necessarily got to be a business, but just something else that can maybe make you money or um, can just be a craft that you can fall on, back on. Because some people, they work a nine to five and they're very happy there. They're not trying to create some outside business as a fall back on option. But what I'm saying is always make sure that you're up to date on your skill set, your crafts, just always work. And I think um, even if you do a hobby that um, you aren't trying to like, you know, start a business on, just make sure that you're not just so invested in, I guess, your job that you aren't perfecting your skills. Now, there are some jobs, like maybe photography, editing, whatever the case may be, there are some jobs that when you work them, you are working on your craft too. So those are always great. But if it's like you're working at Walmart as a cashier, like also make sure you're working, you know, that, that one does work on communication skills, like, you know, doing that that job, but just always making sure that you're working on your other skill sets so that you always can have something else to fall back on in case your job comes to you and say, this show last day. Anywho, I didn't expect to give that long of a rant. I love you guys so much. Let me finish getting into the rest of my day. Um, I'm going to come back and check in with you guys in a few once I finish getting things organized, but I did do my prayer this morning, uh, my meditation. Um, I watched my motivational video. Like I told you guys, I did a brain dump. I already had my first meeting. Uh, I already met with one of my team members. Like, your girl's been rolling, and it's only eight something. So, um, the day is going great. Um, get ready to do some meal planning for real, for real. That's on my schedule for today because I need to kind of plan out um, our meals for the next seven days because I really am trying to be intentional about eating healthy and stuff. So, I need to do some meal planning. Let me show you guys the meal planner that I use, just in case any of you are interested. All right, y'all, so this is the meal planner that I use. Um, I think I actually found this on, like, um, online or something, like a downloadable, and then I, like, imported it over to my GoodNotes app. Um, but I really love this because I have the shopping list right here, and... I can pretty much write down like all of the things I need um, to make the meals over here. So I put like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I pretty much do it like that. Pretty much, um, I wanna like eat three meals a day pretty much to just make sure, um, you know, like giving my body what I need. So I'm not saying I'm about to eat whole meals and I'm I, and three meals for real, for real, I might not even do that because I gotta look and make sure that's what I need to do because your girl ain't trying to gain no weight, okay? Um, but I know like breakfast is an important meal. A lot of times I skip breakfast. Like this morning, I ain't even had breakfast yet. Um, it's so habitual for me to just skip breakfast. And so I want to start eating breakfast because I know it's important. Like I do so much work throughout the day. I want to make sure I'm fueling my body so I can be successful. So like even when it comes to if I decide to eat the three meals a day, I want to make sure that for breakfast and lunch, like I'm eating things that propel me forward healthy options. Um, that way for dinner, it don't got to be that much like, because sometimes I might miss breakfast. Sometimes I miss lunch too. And then I'll eat dinner and it'll be a whole bunch of food and that's not healthy. Um, so I want to make sure that I am like eating three meals a day, but they're small meals. Like, does it make sense y'all? So comment down below any tips you have. I'm new to the whole fitness space, but I'll check in with you guys in a few. I got finished pretty much like getting things locked in for my day. I have a few more people I need to meet with, but I'm a, I'm gonna get in touch with y'all. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we're we going to talk. We're going to talk in just a few. Let me just get my day kind of written out like I need to. And then I'll pop back in with y'all. All right, y'all. So I pretty much am working on the meal plan. I'm just about done. Um, and I have a few things on the list. So, so far I have on here, like for breakfast options, I have 
eggs and spinach, which we've um, with sliced avocado, um, fruit, cottage cheese, pancakes, um, cottage cheese, eggs, and toast. So one thing about cottage cheese, y'all, it has a lot of protein, um, which is good for breakfast. Then I have toast, avocado, and fried eggs, waffles, eggs. That's like the cheat day. So Friday, like, you know, having an actual breakfast day. Um, for dinner, I'm going to make, like, my first chili, so I'm excited about that. Got, like, the recipe items up here. So, these so far are things I'm going to be making this week. Um, so, I'm really excited about it. Some things are new as far as the breakfast items, but um, in the chili. But I have made broccoli, um, the casserole before, and a sheet pan dinner. For my sheet pans, I usually do potatoes, um, carrots, green beans, chicken, squash, different things like that. So, that's always really good. And for, in case anybody wants the chicken, broccoli, rice, casserole recipe, um, it's chicken broth, rice, broccoli, condensed cream of chicken soup, milk, sour cream, cheddar cheese, and of course, which I know, but I'll add right here, the chicken. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about these meals and I'm excited to like plan it out. That way when I go to the store, I only have to go to the store one time and I pretty much got like what I'm eating. Now, for Saturday and Sunday, like... I don't be knowing what we gonna do those days. But I just make sure I got the Monday through Friday planned out. Now, so I'm actually at Kroger, um, doing a quick little store run, picking up a few things for dinner tonight. I'm gonna be making something I never made before, a chili, which I'm really excited about um, because the temperature is definitely temperature, okay? And I wanted to try something new. A chili is pretty simple though, even though I've never made it, it's something that I'm excited to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, but some very important ingredients. So I'm making sure that I have everything I need for it tonight. Make sure I get some cheese. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm making mine with ground beef. I'm gonna take you guys through the whole experience. So y'all gonna see me cook it. We're gonna do like a little cook with me as well in this vlog. So I'm really excited about it. I prefer shopping at Walmart, y'all. But Kroger was just a little bit closer to me, so I hit Kroger. I'm trying to make this store run quick. I'll update you guys with everything I got from the store. Hopefully it won't be too much. All right, so I have um, one of these foil pans. We all know about these foil pans. I needed one of these for the cornbread, and so I have one of these. It's actually two in here, but I'm only going to use one. I have the <clears throat> different um, ingredients, so I have some come in here. I have the chili powder. I have some Hunt's diced tomatoes. Then I have these red kidney beans. These are in sauce prepared with olive oil, bell pepper, and tomato. So I love that it has that extra, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, y'all can see it. It has that extra like flavoring to it. I also got some tomato sauce, and then I got some Kroger beef broth fat free they did have some low sodium ones but i thought this would do the job so this is the kroger beef broth now i'm gonna have beef in mine so you know you could have done another kind of broth but i was like i'm gonna have ground beef in it and do beef broth that's just my preference in order to start cooking the time right now is 5 23 I would love to have this meal. It says this meal takes about 30 minutes to cook. I would love to have dinner on the table by seven. That would be amazing. I really like six o'clock, but I don't think that's gonna happen today, given I haven't even started. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably get started at six. I usually post on my Instagram, y'all, sidebar around six. So I'm probably gonna post on Instagram at six. Post my pictures. I got some cute pics that I'm gonna post at six. And then right after I finish posting, responding to a few comments, you know, saying hey to my friends and their stories and stuff, kind of just living my little social media best life. I'm going to then start cooking. Probably wrap up some emails. Y'all, I'm like going through my whole list. Probably wrap up some emails for the next 30 minutes. Post at six. Make my chili from like six to 6.30, 6.40. Then I'll probably eat with my family, chill with them for a bit to about 7.30. Then probably record my brand deals from like 7.30 to 8. 
and then finish up in the house. Y'all, I have a never ended to do this, so I'm planning this thing out. But I think I'm gonna make the chili. I know for sure I'm gonna post and make this chili and spend time with my family. And I'm gonna be working before and after. Like, this one, the work gonna be before and after. The work just don't stop. The girl always works. So I'm excited to cook. That's one of my favorite things to do. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So I am getting ready to make my chili. I'm so excited, y'all. Like. I don't know why I'm like so hype over chili, but I'm just excited about this recipe. But anyway, this is the pot I'm gonna use. It's a fairly nice size. First thing I need to do is go ahead and heat some olive oil in here. I'm not gonna do a lot, just a little bit like that. All right, y'all, so I have this going. I'm gonna let that cook for literally five minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our ground beef. That's gonna be really, really good. So I'm excited about that. One thing too, I don't know if you guys know, but I really have a passion for cooking. And one thing that I wanna start in a few years from now, not like next year, because I have other projects that I wanna do next year and just, you know, the year after that. but. In the near future, I definitely want to roll out with my own cookware. That's really one thing that I'm really passionate about because having the right good quality pots and pans is essential to cooking any meal. And I would love to just be able to have a piece of just like my love, my warmth in different people's homes through my cookware. So I'm really excited about that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my ingredients. Pretty much the box says that um, you need this mix, one egg and one third of milk. Um, I go by that and then I also add like honey occasionally. Um, sometimes like if I'm making like a corn type of cornbread, I'll add cream corn, um, drained corn, sour cream, and different things like that. But today I'm just making a simple, basic cornbread with egg and milk. So, let's do it. All right, y'all, so this is how my ground beef is looking right now. I drained mine. Some people don't drain theirs, but I definitely drain mine. And now I'm getting ready to pour all my seasonings in. I am going to be using chili powder, cumin, garlic powder. I wanna add a little of this smokehouse maple. That's just my preference. I'm gonna add a little bit of Cajun, just because I wanted to have a little, little twang to it. Oh, some sugar. A little bit of sugar, not too much. All right, y'all. So I ended up hopping on YouTube Live. Um, I totally forgot that I had a YouTube Live tonight, y'all, for our family channel, The Jackson of Atlanta. So I hopped on there and I ended up finished making my chili on live. But I wanted to show you guys how it turned out. Um, everything looks so good. I can't wait to taste the first bite. Ooh, y'all, it looks so good. Let me show you guys how it looks. All right, guys. So here is the chili. Ooh, wee, that looks so good. Good. I got a piece of cornbread in there. I got some cheese in there. Can't wait to try it out. All right, y'all. So let's taste the chili. I'm excited to see how it tastes. Here's again how it looks. So let's see what we get. Mm. 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 That's good, y'all. It has so many freaking flavors. It's like when you taste it, it has like, it's so flavorful. Definitely mm -mm. go with the seasoning that I went with. Definitely, definitely, definitely go with them. I taste each, like it's very layered. I like it a lot. Mm. It's fire, y'all. I'm in love. Alrighty, guys. Well, it is a new day. Oh, y'all, I'm up. Feeling good. Um, Don't got nothing special on. Just really like this super cute lounge shirt. Very much casual. Just some high-waisted jeans, 
just chilling for real for real um but i hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog make sure you guys turn on your post notifications subscribe to the channel um because we're just gonna continue to drop amazing content over here weekly vlogs conversations i mean also if there's something else y'all want to see make sure you comment down below so i know but it's just gonna be vibes so excited for the new year to just literally like set goals cross them off one by one um protect my peace like all of that i'm going to be doing from this point and into the new year and beyond y'all i'm really excited about it and i want to take you guys along the journey with me um as i try new recipes and just navigate like my world my space mahogany's world so y'all make sure y'all keep it locked um it's just gonna get better and better and better make sure you're also following me on all social media platforms i'm on instagram i'm on facebook i'm on tiktok all of that all of that. So make sure you're connected with me everywhere. Like, you can't be my best friend. Like, because y'all be like in the comments, you're like my best friend in my head. And how are we going to be best friends if we're not connected on all platforms? Like, if you just subscribe to the channel, that's lit and all. But you got to make sure that you're also following me on the gram. Follow me everywhere that I am, okay? But I love you guys so, so much. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Let me know how you like these weekly vlogs. Let me know if there's something else you want to see um, during the weekly vlogs because it is something new that I'm doing, taking you guys with me like throughout like a whole week pretty much opposed to like dropping just a daily vlog type of thing. So let me know what you guys prefer and all of that, okay? Y'all know I can talk too much, so... I'm going to go and wrap it up, but I love you guys so, so much. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.